like a upswing of like motivation and doing a lot of stuff today to move things forward so I actually mentioned that maybe that would be good fodder content what have you there he is i actually just placed an order for a sewing machine i've been like researching online a bunch and trying to find something that was you know not super costly but also would last a long time i don't have an income right now so i thought about just getting something like really cheap do the job for now get me started get me back in the swing of things sewing again knowing that i would need to upgrade to something that could do like denim and something heavier duty that could sew through like more layers of fabric probably shortly after i got a cheaper one i decided it would be like the more sustainable option to get one that was slightly more expensive more sustainable for the environment and for my budget because like rather than buying like one like 70 dollars sewing machine and then one like $150, $200 sewing machine, just like going ahead and like starting off with the $150 sewing machine. So I've done that, which is really excited. I'm so excited to get it. I'm hoping to help out with some of the efforts of like sewing face masks for people. I reached out to my friend who's doing one for like the, doing that for the healthcare workers to see if they still need that. It just makes so much sense to use this time to strengthen the skill that I've known that I need to put more time and effort into and strengthen for like a long time. I actually had my eye on this one because it was like exactly the price point that I wanted to spend while also being heavy duty, meaning that it's able to sew through like thicker fabrics like denim and stuff like that because um, a lot of like the cheaper models aren't able to do that. I actually had a call today with an acquaintance who works in costume design. She said that this is the one that she used and so I went ahead and I I sent the order. Did like having that call earlier like energize you to do that or like Yes. Setting up that call with that acquaintance definitely like energized me to order that sewing machine and um and just like move forward, move ahead with doing fashion. I wanted to talk to her specifically because I see like costume design and working in costuming as a way to still engage in the fashion industry without being focused kind of on selling things and encouraging people to buy more stuff. Though clothing used in movies and TV and music videos and stuff like that like is tangentially you know connected to like motivating people to buy more stuff that's not like what it's all about it's about like storytelling and like the art of it which is really what i love the most and feeling good you know i spent the past few days just kind of like on the couch watching tv i did like make things here and there but mostly like being a little potato which is okay to do of course i have a really hard time with it and how i think about myself when i'm being that way and i always forget that i'm gonna come out of it and not that I'm not always gonna be like that. Yeah, so, okay. My coworker who um, like studied fashion design in school just responded to my Instagram post about my new sewing machine that that was the same model that she had, so I feel oh, even go. better about my decision. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go um, try to get some vitamin D. We haven't been outside in a few days. I've been trying to like reduce the number of walks we're going on just to like reduce exposure as much as possible. I'm gonna go on a quick one to get some sun. Hello. I'm gonna do a little thrift haul for you guys. I ordered these overalls at Depop. These are like the Airy Utility overalls. Instagram advertised these to me and I was like, those look really cute. Well, I do like that Airy really like showcases all body types and shares like untouched photos and things like that. Just like the price of the clothing still like qualifies as fast fashion to me and I'm sure everybody. But I found the same ones on Depop in my size and they have a little tie. You know, like a little bit to figure out like what length worked where they didn't like rise up my booty but they work now. <laughs> and then we watched When Harry Met Sally and I just like 
all of her clothing in that video were so me. I could like literally make like multiple of the outfits that she wore. She had these like kind of not gold earrings that were really popular in the 80s and they were like popular in the 60s as well. But I found a pair also from a Depop seller and with the overalls, like as soon as I opened them, I put them in the wash right away, just threw them in with another load that needed to be washed anyway, discarded the packaging right away, and then with the earrings, I just like, I didn't want to wipe them down with anything that was like able to kill flu viruses because I didn't want to damage the, I think they're probably brass, and I just wasn't sure, so I just like quarantined them in the closet for a while, and now I get to wear them. Pretty sunset. I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up for now, since we're just gonna chill now because we've earned it. Okay. Only like 30 minutes ago and they said they were doing curbside pickup from 1 to 5. So we're on our way to pick up my sewing machine from Joann's. It was only available for pickup, like every sewing machine is just like bought up online. They had two at the store, we're gonna go pick them up now. They're doing curbside pickup to reduce exposure and everything at Joann's. So we're on our way. So they have this system where they have these baskets placed out and you call and they tell you which numbered basket they're going to put your order in. Hi! There she is! There she was. 